race, but persons who study ethnicity will notice the Koreans are not like the Mongolians, the Japanese, or the Chinese. Now, folk, I don't believe it. The Koreans have claimed some of them that they came from another planet, they came from the sky. I don't believe it, because the DNA shows them to be descended from the same Adam and the same Eve everybody else is, but they're not Mongolian, they're not Japanese, they're, we don't know what they are. It's like they're an ethnic group all to themselves, different and unique from everybody else except they're members of the human race. Um, all right, Korea. Vietnam. The name comes from the Viets. The earliest inhabitants we know of were the Viets. Vietnam is a hot country, tropical climate. Um, and tropical people have had a tendency to be less civilized than their temperate. I mean, well, folks, again, this is just a historical fact. People who live in a temperate climate are generally more industrious and more productive than people who live in a tropical climate. Uh, any of you can guess why that is? Well, for one thing, people who live in a temperate climate know we've got a few days window where we can plow, and then when the plow, we've got a few days window where we can harvest, and if we don't feel like plowing, we're going to starve. If we've, we've got to plow, we're doing whether we feel like or not. Come harvest time, we've got to get that harvest in before the frost sets in, where the plants will rot, and we've got to harvest whether we feel like it or not. So uh, temperate climate people are motivated by Clock, the sun being a clock, whereas tropical people, oh, I'll, I'll harvest when I get ready, I'll plant when I get ready too. They can get away with that, but um, anyway, whatever it is, maybe the heat makes them a little bit less uh, than productive, I don't know. Um, in Vietnam, Buddhism, Taoism, Confucianism, you know, spread, not Hinduism. Hinduism didn't make much headway. Again, these tropical peoples tend to be egalitarian. Primitive peoples tend to be egalitarian. Hinduism is not egalitarian. So Hinduism made no significant headway in Vietnam, but the religions of China, religions from, uh, 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 from India, Buddhism, Taoism, and Confucianism did make a lot of headway. Now, Vietnam has been continually influenced by China. You can get to Vietnam from China without getting into the ocean, or you can take a sea route and get to Vietnam by taking a, a ship. Uh, so you have two routes to get from China to Vietnam, and the Vietnamese have been heavily influenced by the Chinese. Um, China at times tried to conquer Vietnam, and at one point, many, many generations ago, China did conquer the Viets. The Viets spent a thousand years trying to get rid of the Chinese, and they finally did. They did it by resorting to guerrilla warfare, which they learned to do a thousand years ago. Again, their, their plant life is conducive to guerrilla warfare. Guerrilla warfare is where you can strike an enemy and then disappear in the foliage. Strike an enemy again and disappear. And with guns, that's even easier. You can strike at a distance and then just disappear. And they, the Viets even used guerrilla warfare successfully, I must say, against the United States. But after a thousand years, the Viets overcame China. Then came the Mongolians. The Mongolians tried to conquer the Viets. Again, the Viets resorted to guerrilla warfare and the Mongolians who had defeated the Chinese who had defeated much of northern India and who had defeated much of the Muslim world did not defeat the Vietnamese, owing to the fact that the Mongolian way of fighting mounted cavalry on horseback does not work in the jungles of Vietnam. So Islam never made much headway in Vietnam and neither did uh, the Mongolians. Um, now, like China and like Korea and like, I mean, like Japan, Vietnamese did set up a civil service exam. Um, and because they were egalitarian, any male person could take the exam. You know, I have to say male, that's what your book says, but any man could take the exam. And I've already mentioned Korea and Vietnam never adopted the Japanese practice of Shintoism. Women in Vietnam had more rights than they did in China 
or in Korea or Japan, and women could own property and could initiate divorce <coughs> proceedings against their husbands, something they were not allowed to do in some of your other countries. Uh, now, um, again, the United States fought a long war in Vietnam, 12 years, which the United States lost. And, a lot of the losing was due to the fact that the Vietnamese have over centuries perfected guerrilla warfare. And something else I want to say that the Chinese, the Chinese began what they called a uh, long process of signing, right, basically the Chinese tried to uh, civilize the Vietnamese and one of the things that they insisted the Vietnamese people do is that this will make you more civilized uh, they they insist that the young couples who liked each other go through a ceremony before they started living together. Um, now, I'm folk, I'm going to say that I'm very much aware of how the, this generation lives. But I will say this, I do believe your union will get more respect if you do have a ceremony and go through a legal marriage proceeding before you start living together. If that offends you, if I stepped on your toes. I'm going to back down and I'll say it. I'm going to apologize. Uh, again, the, the Viet, who is called the process of signification, in other words, making the Vietnamese people more civilized. The Chinese looked on the practice of just starting to live together without a ceremony as being less than civilized or even barbaric. They said, hey, go through the ceremony. That way you have to, to stop them, you have to go through an actual divorce proceeding. Otherwise, one of you just might decide to move out, but uh, if you actually get married, you have to divorce before you can uh, be considered separate. All right, with that, I'm going to stop. Um, again, I'll get in my car later and think of all kinds of stuff I could have said or should have said. I will make up the test, so based basically on what's on the board, and so basically the test you'll take next week is not made up. Uh, but I will be making it up starting now. Um, starting probably on Monday. It takes me all day Saturday to put, your, to put these lectures online for this class and the other and to uh, grade your test. It takes all day Saturday. So it'll be Monday before I can start. But I'll, I'll, work, I'll work on it. So anyway, you, all right, you might be aware there's only one more lecture. Next week is chapters 12 and 13. And a week after that is your final exam and a semester which just barely has begun is over. All right, anybody have any questions, comments? Okay. Um, Folk, I rarely read what the, uh, my critics say about me, but what little I've read is I've been called opinionated. I am, I don't care. <laughs> To give a lesson without some evaluation, I mean, to me, it would be a waste of time. So I will, most of the time, I won't hesitate to tell you what I, won't hesitate to tell you what I think. Okay. Now, if I can find a test. Oh, it's in here. Okay, I'll give it. Here it is. All right. Again, there's four different test sheets here. So... Uh, Again, if I see you looking on your neighbor's test book, I won't get to you. Yes, yes, something I must say. Okay, yeah. yeah. What's that? Yes, yes, okay. Something I must say about this test. Uh, you can stay here for a minute or two. Okay. If you're of the Muslim faith and you find some of these questions that it would be offensive to your faith to answer them, you put down the answer that your conscience tells you to, and I promise I won't count it off. Uh, if you follow my reasoning. In other words, if you uh, don't like the question, now that's not to say that if you put down that Cortez was an Indian chieftain, I'm not going to count that right. But if it's just a question that involves the Muslim doctrine, and uh, you 
you answer according to your own conscience and not according to the answer that I want. All right, we're clear on that. Uh, and I won't count it, and then I won't count it more. I don't know if that applies to anyone here, but in the time past, it has applied to some of pupils who were who would not hesitate to tell me that they were Muslim. And uh, they put down their own answers, and I said, okay, that's fine. Put down the answer that your conscience tells you. All right. Hopefully we're clear on that. Okay, any further questions? All right, you can you may leave. Okay. We'll get started. Be sure, be sure you check the back.